Okay, so I'm up a bit earlier than usual, uh, and I'm gonna have a bonus stream of sorts. I gotta go out in a bit, but until then I got some time to kill, so I figured I may as well do this, because I'm not sure if I'll get the chance to stream later. We'll see. Uh, I mean, I guess I should aim to just complete characters, right? So... Tell you what, let's clean up Eden. I just gotta do the, uh, negative. It should be straightforward, hopefully. Oh. That, that is interesting, <laughs> but I think I'll go with this. There's not a whole lot of point to the clicker. Oh, and this trinket, I think this is the one that... You know what? This is not bad. This could go places. Good starting stats as well, so can't go wrong. I could choose to not open e any of the treasure rooms here. Because I did technically get two items. Yeah, so then they become this. Hmm. I mean, the interesting thing about what I have here is that, uh, I can sustain it. Thinking about it. I might entertain the skip for the first, uh, floor and see what happens. Because I don't really want to lose health just yet. Up early, uh, yeah, a little bit of an accident, but it's fine. I got stuff to do in, like, a couple of hours, so I figured, eh, may as well play. But then I'll be out for the rest of the day. Just got a bunch of random stuff to do. I'm glad I didn't take it. Happy I'm on. Yeah, it's rare these days that I'm up at this time. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, there's something about winter here that just motivation to get up super early before I have to do stuff for the day is just not as high. Okay, well, I'm taking the gamble, so... Hang on, this is good. I can take the risk and not really get punished for it. Same here. I don't have the key, shit. Oh, it's okay. Your little sisters are watching. What? What? Why does? Why is that in quote? <laughs> oh right. Shit. I didn't have a key. They were your students. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm a little slow to the upkeep. Caffeine hasn't kicked in. The one annoying thing about waking up early on a Sunday is all the coffee places... They don't open this early, like for whatever reason, at least near where I live. They don't open till 10. So I had to settle for, uh... A concoction of sorts. <laughs> I'm not usually one to be desperate for caffeine, but needed it. And all I had was... The remainders of, like, this... I don't know what it is, it's... They say it's caramel, but it doesn't taste like it, so I don't know. And then... This other coffee mix. Interesting. This is the same thing, though, so I guess I shouldn't go for it. Although it'll give me... Mm. Okay. I got that out of it. I think the reason it tastes weird is it's old, <laughs> but you do what you gotta do. I mixed it with some milk and it's fine.
<laughs> so wait, when you say students, do I need to watch my tongue? Uh, the, are they of the age where if I get annoyed, they're high schoolers? Yeah, but, I mean, I don't fucking know. Like, will they gawk at the fact that if I get angry at something, for example, like, I get, I take damage from this fly. If I call it a cunt fly, are they gonna, you know, complain? Am I gonna get a nasty letter later? I'll just have to dial up the the Australian. Ah, oh, you fucking can't fly. Yeah, that's that's my pass. I think we're the only country in the world that can get away with saying that word and be all right. You sang class from Chicago with one of them on stage. The words "bitch," "shit," and "twat" are in it. Yeah, but that's music. That's art. That's not being crass, is it? I could choose to say any word. Like... The song could have talked about penis, but it's still a song. There's artistic expression in it, regardless. Meanwhile, if I say penis, it's just... It's just awkward. You've been swearing around them all fucking day. I love that you're over-explaining this. Like, I'm just being a dick. Quite clearly. Was your teacher this easy to rile up? Sound off below. I've been watching too much, uh, Nathan for you. I've been watching quite a bit of Nathan Fielder stuff and... <laughs> just... Having a dry delivery on stuff. Okay. Jeez. Oh, no. Right. Shit, this item. Uh, fuck. Yeah, I may have screwed myself over here. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I don't think there's any way I can fix this. Yeah, that's not gonna- that's not gonna work. Oh shit, I left my messenger open. Hold up. <laughs> Miss Sandy do be slaying. Now Sandy, you know it's against terms of service to start alternate accounts on Twitch and pretending to be other people. Uh, 
Uh, I couldn't keep a straight face. It's not you. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just teasing. It's written enough in a vernacular of someone under the age of 20 that, uh, yeah, it's believable. Ooh, okay. I need to ditch the trinket before I go in there. Nope, or I'm just... No, okay, fine. Ugh. I tried to gamble and I failed. There's no way I start off with one health, right? Okay, good. The trinket would have already changed it before entering. Oh, oh well. Fuck me, then. Hey, Nick, you're up late. This is the opposite of, uh, the norm. The Europeans are usually starting their day, and I'm just about to end. You're going to go to sleep, but then the notification, now you're sitting here half asleep watching and playing Forza. You, sh you shouldn't drive when you're tired. That's as bad as uh, drinking and playing Forza. You might kill one of the NPCs accidentally. Be careful. Don't drink and drive, yeah. Don't drink and play Forza. As well. Yep. I expected as much. Let's see how I wake I am. Haha. -ha. I'm good.
also, do you want to know something I learnt about possums? By, uh, chance. I saw someone else complaining about, uh, like, possums taking a crap everywhere. But they thought that there was a second animal that was also taking a crap. Turns out, possums have, uh, I forget the term, but they're animals that have to process their food twice. So they leave two kinds of crap. They leave an initial one that doesn't quite process everything. And then they feed it to their young or eat it again. So then they get all the nutrients and then they crap out a second type. Which is, it looks different. Which kind of explains a bit. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my little random factoid. Why would I be looking at that? The answer is simply because where I live, there's a bunch of possums everywhere, and they just take a crap on my mailbox. Constantly. Although lately, it's been the, the sidewalk, footpath, whatever you want to call it. Your spirit animal, what, the possum? Why, because it takes craps on people's property? See, now this is the awkward part where you either have to admit it or not. I know damn well why. No, I don't. Educate me. <laughs> and then eats it again. Yeah. That's, that's the important part now, is just the eating it again. Just in a golem voice, like, yes, oh, yes, give me the nutrients, yes. I'll just leave, it's fine. You'll stick with raccoons then. Well, we don't have them here. So I got no, no beef with them. There's another one. Oh well. I wonder if that Lord of the Rings show on uh, Amazon's gonna be any good. Cause they're hyping it up, it's... I forget how much budget it has, but it's supposed to be a ridiculous amount of money.
Uh, sure. More planetarium chance. I shouldn't need it, like, you know me, I'm the dude that gets it on the 1% chance. <laughs> Would be nice, though. Oh, right. <laughs> Why does it keep putting stuff out of reach? That is the second time something like that has happened. There we go. Eh, uh, eh. <laughs> So you want to hear the reason I woke up? I'll, I'll tell you. I... This week I put up after eight months of waiting for an answer to be allowed to do it. I put up, uh, acoustic foam in here, so then it doesn't echo as much. It's been great. Um... So when I was setting it up, I had to put these, uh adhesive strips on the back of them so then they would go onto the wall because I rent and I can't do that much modification like if you want to hang up anything you have to get written permission which is a bit of a bit of a shit thing but yeah I asked in January and then finally they said yes so I put them up this week it's been great when I was fixing these strips onto them. The very first one I did, I was like, oh, I just put it on. Didn't read the instructions. And then I read the instructions and it recommended that you had to leave the adhesive for an hour before putting it up. So I was like, ah, this, this has been on the wall for an hour. Like, how bad could it be? But you know what? I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to waste money, so I'll do it for the rest of them. This one's... This ship's already sailed. So, the way I hung them, I went from... The ceiling down. So, high and then down. So, what woke me up is this one that I thought was going to be fine fell off. And on its way down, it, uh, I don't know what it hit, but it's, it sounded worse than what it was. It sounded like a loud crash. So just imagine waking up to that at like, uh, 7.30 in the morning. No panic set in, it was fine. I'm just surprised it did what it did. It's a it's a piece of foam. See, I got this piece of foam just lying here. I need to get more strips to put it back up.
It was the part that connected with the, uh... The foam directly. Like, the part on the wall stayed there, surprisingly. I'm pretty sure the only reason they said yes as well is because they've changed the laws here, so now... Because... The government here has started saying, well, housing is kind of fucking ridiculous. Um, that a lot of people are just gonna rent for the rest of their lives, that they should have... ...some basic rights to be able to make their rental a home, so to speak. So they changed it so... ...you can hang up stuff... ...within reason. As long as you agree that if there's any damage to the paint that you'll fix it, so that's good. You don't have to ask anymore for that. This only came into effect recently, so that's the only reason they got back to me. Um, and then the other one is they cannot... Unless there's a really, really good reason, they cannot deny you being able to bring in a pet. Which is a good one. It pretty much has to be, like, a life or death matter with the, uh, landlord. They can't refuse it. So that's a pretty nice one. Oh shit, I might get the transformation. One more. I'll have to see what else they've changed. These kids are teasing you like you do. Maybe you should stop calling them kids. They're... they're young adults, Sandy. Oh, cool. Wait. No, that's good, because then... You don't have time for my rhetoric. You know who has time for my rhetoric? Adults. <laughs> oh, Rod Slayer, thank you for the raid. Hey, Becca Dora, how's it going? Good to see ya. Good to see ya, good to see ya. I'm at a non-standard time for me. Waiting for caffeine to kick in. Am I implying that you're not an adult? No, not at all. There's always a choice, right? Fuck up. 
pretty good. How am I? Doing okay. Just going through uh, characters, trying to get completion marks. Uh, on a larger scale, I had, had myself scared a little. A piece of acoustic foam fell over in my room and knocked something down. Nothing broke, but it sounded worse than what it was. And, uh... I had... I was up, so... I got a bit of time to kill before I gotta go out and do stuff. Figured, ah, let's play. Not the foam. Yeah, you would think that something that soft and light wouldn't do anything, but I, I guess not. It's my own fault. It's a long story. I didn't read the instructions on the adhesive strips. It said to wait an hour before putting them onto the wall. So for the first one, I hadn't read those instructions. And I was like, hmm, ah, what could happen? Well, they that's what happens. It just falls off eventually. Uh, but yeah, I, I will go for Dead God. I haven't really played this DLC much. I've finished the game otherwise, like, other times. I've had some pretty good luck. I've just been going around unlocking the tainted characters where I can. Uh, the other day I had a run where... Using the pill baby and... The verp pill. If you keep vomit- if you keep vomiting that pill up, it just keeps doing damage, so... It was a run where I basically had a spammable Necronomicon. It was pretty cool. That was, uh, that was definitely one of the cooler builds I've seen in this. It didn't really do much to bosses, but for room clearing, it was really good. It's not cheese. I, uh, I mean... It's one of those things, you're, you're either... One of those people that... Think that you you miss out on an experience by having something that makes the game trivial. Which, in that case, it's cheese, or... I guess you're on, you're not on that side, and then it's just like, it's in the game, it's fair. Like, were you a younger sibling, and were you promised that the controller was plugged in the whole time? In fighting games, did your older sibling keep using the move, and did you say that they were cheating by using the same move over and over again that you couldn't defend against? It comes down to that. Ah, uh, okay. Might you say you love my voice? Thank you. You may say it. The acoustic foam is doing its job. I'm good, right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you need to get some of this foam. Yeah, I'm telling you. Life-changing. Mm. 
You want to talk about cheese? I... I got, uh... The Nord Leaf and Succubus. And... I straight up... Sat there. I didn't have anything else. Just to be clear. Like, it was a bad run. Pretty much had base damage, ba base everything, like horrible stats. I went the base path, and I just put the controller down, and it went for an hour. Just about an hour. And people watched. And to keep people entertained, I went through my folder, and, uh... I put up whatever PNG or animated GIF I had. And formed, like, a little scene. And it birthed one of the greatest, uh, characters that's now part of my stream lore. Would you like to meet him? I'll... I'll bring him out. Okay. So you're gonna have to follow me on this one, because he has to tran- he has to transform, okay? Let me- let me get him out. Or is he? Okay, so... You know... The joke was, I'll move a helicopter around the screen and... It's dodging projectiles. But then, you know what's better than a helicopter? Nicholas Cage is a helicopter. So this is now Nicholas Cage has transformed into a helicopter. But, you know what's better than Nicolas Cage as a helicopter? I'll tell ya. Where is it? Right, so now... Nicolas Cage is now Batman. Transformed into a helicopter. And when you put the three together... It gives you something to do while you have to sit there for an hour while the boss slowly but surely dies. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> A special personal hell- wait, where did that clip come from? I don't- I didn't realize there was a clip of it. Let me see. I muted it. Oh, yeah, that was when the Dwayne was on the screen. That's at the start of the insanity. I love how the video that's recommended afterwards sort of shows it. There's a thumbnail for it. It's- it's pretty amusing. Uh, okay. What am, oh shit, what am I doing? No. I don't have to do anything with time, right? Okay, no time-sensitive stuff. We're okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. My name is Will, and I play games on the internet. From Australia. I can't believe just people actually watched that. Uh, let's leave that for a minute. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I was thinking, I mean, I guess this can still work. We'll just put a bunch of stuff on the floor using the bins. That's, that was my rationale. I, I might still be able to do it. Just this, please. Okay, I swear if this... Yep, fuck me for trying to be smart. Okay, but we got the transformation, so that's, that's a good thing. I'll still do it.
Oh, what's that? You're trying to be clever with strategy and thought? Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, go fuck yourself. But no, now I can do it. And this should work pretty well. I'm gonna take the big coins. No, ah, <laughs> damn it. <sighs> that was the uh, the fanny pack that did that. Okay, but it, it's cool. I, I did get some use out of it. I did get some use out of it. I'll pick up the keys because I'm going to need them. Anyway, I forgot to do the, uh, and apologies because caffeine's still kicking in, but how's the stream, Rod? <laughs> the hospitality. Jeez. I had to, uh, make myself a coffee using whatever little scraps of, uh, instant coffee I had lying around. I think Rod's passing out. That's fair. All good, all good. You're on the loot? Nah, don't worry. It's all good. What did you miss? Oh, I was just asking how the stream went, that's all. I was like, shit, I should have done the typical stream of hospitality thing, asking... But the caffeine hasn't quite kicked in. Okay, and now I go back to the dice room and see what I can get out of it. The stream was good, good to hear. It was your first drunk stream. Oh, so like spicy water, yeah? Because... Like Twitch frowns upon drunkenness, but spicy water? That's okay. You did Splunky to a cop. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. How was that? I've never tried cop myself. Um, I would imagine it would hinder you more, but in some cases it would make things easier, right? Nah, see, that game, the moment I I spent, like, what, six months trying to finish the Cosmic Ocean, and I haven't played it since. I, I finished it, and that was it. I'm just done. <laughs> Not touching it. I hadn't played Splunky once, so I'm kind of proud that I, I got that done. The cop was cool, you gotta win in. Nice. Nice, nice. I will probably go back and play the original. From what I've heard, it's- Ooh, nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. From what I've heard, people have told me that it's, uh, easier than two. You've been trying to get to 7.99 for so long, but 7.30 is your best. Hey, that's- that's pretty good. I 
I think I I went from dying immediately to seven five seven ten then seven thirty. That was my best for a while, and then I got to seven fifty something, and then I almost had an aneurysm on stream because I got to seven ninety four and died. <laughs> and then finally, in like a five hour stream, I I, I got it done. I almost didn't. I had a lot of health. And I forgot what floor it was. I think it was at 794 or 795. One of those that, uh, yeah, I lost my life and had the Ankh go off. And then I had, uh, like, four health. <laughs> it was not great. Wait, that's Dale. He's a Splunk who did that four times. Oh, that would be demoralizing. But you know, I didn't give up. And recently I fully completed Risk of Rain 2, so that's another, another one. If I can get this done before the end of the year, that'll be great. You ain't gonna give up either. That's good, yeah. I mean, the, the key thing is just keep going. Um, because if you do stop playing, you'll fall out of practice. Risk of Rain 2 is awesome. Oh yeah, it's great. Love the game, love the soundtrack. Um, it took a while to clear everything. Including the Eclipse stuff. Also, hello, virtual hugging. How's it going? Yeah. Good morning. I'm just killing some time before I gotta go. <laughs> Risk of Rain 2 has an entire game coming with the album. It's true. Uh, doing the negative, right? Yes. I picked up the albums on vinyl, and they they are pretty sweet. They have really good artwork on them, and uh, sounds great. The track titles are pretty funny. Wait, who's heading to bed? Is it Becca Dora? If it is, uh, yeah, <laughs> good night. Thanks for popping in. Uh, such is the life of an Australian streamer. It's if I stream in the morning, the Europeans miss out. If I stream in the evening, the Americans miss out. <laughs> it's just how it is. Nah, Rod, you'll be lurking. Nah, all good. Uh, I mean, since I have the Book of Revelations, is... I should do this. Never know. From what I heard, most Aussie streamers on the East Coast, they have to get up at like 5, 6 in the morning to get that magical time where it's like perfect overlap between America and Europe. I tried that for a little bit, but it's it's not easy and winter demotivates you quite a bit. I'm not much of a morning person. 
5 a.m. No thanks. Yeah, no. I had to do that for a while. Not from a stream perspective, but because I used to live out in the middle of nowhere and I had to train it into work. And it was fine for a while. It didn't take that long, but then right before I moved, it was just like the perfect storm of, uh, Oh, whoops. Temperance. Of just all these works they had to do. So it used to be like 50 minutes turned into almost two hours one way. Assuming nothing went wrong. There was one day where it was just the perfect storm of stuff. Where the trains were down. And then I had a coworker that offered to give me a ride back. And uh, in Melbourne, to get to where I was, it was uh, there's two, uh, there's pretty much two main roads. And then if either of them get fucked, you have to take the other. So on this day, uh, both of them were completely fucked. So we had to take this detour along the coast and. Long story short, it took seven hours to get home. <laughs> what on one way? It was horrible, and after that point, like both of us uh, separately, with we ha we didn't see each other for a few months. Like the next time we saw each other, we had both moved to the city. But yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that again. That's how early I had to wake up to guarantee that I got into the office at about 8.30-ish. If I'm going to play 5, 6 a.m., I need to work the graveyard shift. Nah. I mean, if streaming was something that I was going to pursue, like, as a full-time thing, sure. It'd be something that I could adapt to, but since it's not, nah. My mentality was, I don't know, get up at 6.30, stream for a couple of hours, get some breakfast, and then start work. And it was fine for a while, but... Nah. <laughs> I like my sleep. I gotta go find the treasure room, because there is one here. I think if I was to pursue streaming as a thing, um, the simplest... Ooh. Um, hmm, debating. Thoughts? <laughs> Should I take it? Um, yeah, the simplest thing I could do is move to the West Coast. Which, that would put me two hours behind. You need to get an actual schedule for streaming, but you're a sloth. Yeah. It's interesting, the topic of, uh... Of schedules. Because a lot of, uh... A lot of those, I don't know, streamer advice things, they recommend that you have one. But then again, I've seen a lot of people that don't have one, and they do fine. It's, it's one of those things that I think these days, it's just luck that's involved. I tried schedules for a while, um, but I didn't see that it really had that much of an impact. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the problem with that that shot is it's explosive. 
It depends who's free at that time, yeah. I think the reason scheduling probably didn't work for me was, uh, again, Australian time zone sucks, right? <laughs> it's just... It's not great. They don't give any other alternate item, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't. Alright, just leave it. I think the best way to start is just do a schedule where don't commit to time too much, like make it loose, like a day of the week at a certain time period, like Thursday evening or something, but don't be specific about the time. And then if you see that it works out, then you can commit to it a bit more. Four of your five continue watching videos is me. Good. That means I'm in the algorithm. I'm all up in your algorithms. Don't forget to smash the like button. <laughs> no, but seriously, that, that would help. <laughs> I, feel, I feel dirty asking for that kind of stuff, but... That's the easiest way to support any content creator, is just do any action that helps them on the algorithm. Like even a comment. As basic as it might be, it's still... The algorithm algorithm is like, Ooh, people are interacting. Let's recommend it. 48 energy. That scared me. Because I wasn't expecting it to go off. Where is the like button? Um, wait, are you talking about Twitch or YouTube? If it's Twitch, there is no like button. Twitch doesn't really have a VOD uh, discovery-like feature. I'm not really sure how algorithm stuff works on Twitch. I think it's got to do with act- As sad as it is, right? I would never try to force people to do it, but I'm pretty sure Twitch's one has got to do with chat and, uh, like, events going on in chat, so to speak. See, whenever I, I start thinking about that stuff or trying to do it properly, it just feels like work, dude. Because <laughs> I have to do some of that stuff to some extent for work. I don't want this to feel like work. At least not yet. Where is the other room? You hit the bell on YouTube, sir. Ah, oh, well, thank you for that. It does help.
I mean, if you're wanting to do it full time, it becomes work. That is what you're doing to survive. Yeah. And. Okay. If it was a, if it was a case of like, I can live the same way I am without too much of a struggle, then I would go for it. And obviously, <laughs> being able to back it up, right? But one thing I would never do is, uh, like, let's say I, uh, for one day I do get that partnership, just be like, yep, I'm just going to go full time now. I, no, that's still too risky. Because there's a difference between, like, being able to survive and make ends meet, right? And, uh, like, having disposable income. I would hate to be in a position where I would have to chase subs and, like, really, really push it. But if it was something where it naturally got to that point, and I didn't really have to overly encourage people to do it, then yeah. Ooh, this item's interesting. Yeah, Isaac hasn't been evil. I think I'm good, but I don't have to do anything complicated here. Um, okay, I had to check. Negative. You don't know the Twitch numbers, but they take half. They do, yeah. Twitch takes, uh, takes half of everything. And you don't really get much from ads either, despite them constantly running them. <laughs> Have some Bezos box. Thank you for the Bezos box and also the, uh, the doggo. That's what my brother calls it when, uh, he gives me his prime sub. Papa Bezos money. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, get away. I think the easiest way to help a streamer that's starting off, in my opinion, is more... Uh... Like, interaction. I mean, money's always great if you if you uh want to go down that path, but just turning up is is a big deal. I just wish I had more time during the day to be able to watch streams. I try to turn up to people's streams where possible. What is that sound? Nope. <laughs> Get away from me. You try it, but it's 1 a.m. Yeah, understandable. It's okay. I, 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 I know. The struggles of an Aussie streamer. Oh, right. Bezelbub. If I go to the US and you're still in Korea, you'll never forgive me. 
until you also go back and go watch again. Yeah, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, no offense, Americans, but like... I would love to visit. I don't think I'd want to live there. Besides, my job's here. Not that... I, I guess not that I can't change that. Like... I think America would be one of those countries where work would be like, yeah, go work remotely. Like, having someone in the US is a good thing for us. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to live there. I don't want to live there. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's some places that are nice, but... Without going too deep into it, like, there's just some things that I have here in Australia that are just never going to be a thing over there. Such as, uh, if I get sick, I don't have to worry about paying out my ass to get cured. That's one. Nearly there. Now, if I, ooh, if I remember correctly, yep, this is a neat trick. If you use a Pertha or a Die Shard here, they become normal chests. I learned that one recently. Free healthcare is for losers. No, no, free healthcare is for communists, clearly. Anything that benefits the population at large and not the rich is communism. You don't want to be a communist, do you? Anyway. Not to, not opening that can of worms, but yeah, I would like to visit the US. Just, uh, it's definitely further down the list, <laughs> let's just say. For me, Japan is somewhere that I would want to visit first, and then somewhere like Northern Europe, where the climate is different. Where I, I can experience, like, snow for the first time, and then be made fun of because of how, how badly I am adapting to it given I live in a country that the coldest recorded temperature ever was in the 1800s, and it was only negative uh, 2 degrees Celsius. Visit the UK. Have tea and crumpets. Yeah, I've, I think that would, that would be a good place as well. I would want to visit the UK. I was kind of hoping that, um, with the whole Brexit thing, that the UK would try to do a free travel arrangement. And I can't believe they haven't done it yet, but try and do a free travel arrangement with, uh, Commonwealth nations. So, like, for example, Australia and New Zealand already have this, so you can go to New Zealand without a passport. It's almost like visiting another state. And to go work there, um, very, very low barrier to entry. And I'm honestly surprised the UK hasn't done something like that, where they go, yeah, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, let's go. Free travel, no passports required, just jump on a plane, come over. Then there would be some benefit into being the <laughs> in the Commonwealth. Whoa. 
Because, yeah, there's, there's discussions of, like, Australia becoming a republic soon. And that would be one way to, I guess, make us reconsider. I think the wildest thing about the UK for me would be just how much the accents differ when you travel a very small amount of distance. It, it's wild. Here, I think there's only two states where you can really tell that people are from that state. But, even, but I mean, the distance between that, them is, is pretty large and significant. It just kind of blows my mind just how much the accents differ. Even in America, like, state to state. It's just something we don't really have here. You have the, uh... The more British sounding Australian accent, then you have the, yeah, yeah, the, gang, yeah. the nasally one. You also have this one, you know, a little bit more like this. You also have this one. Which is a little more relaxed and, uh, weird, but, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, there's not a whole lot of variance on it. Oh, and, of course, the, uh, the fancy South Australians that instead of saying chance, they'll say chance. I'm going to the dance recital. This is a robbery. This is your final chance. Give me all your money. London governor and Essex, their big accents. <laughs> yeah. I like British accents. There's some that... It's just like Australian, where it, it just sounds like nails on a chalkboard. I think that's the same everywhere. Everywhere has an accent that just doesn't sound good. Wait, I, I missed Virtual Hugging's message. You believe it's no way that you need to be a citizen and live there for four years to get a gun and eight for a rifle? Oh. I mean, if you're talking about that sort of shit, pretty much every country on Earth, with the exception of third world countries, have uh, better rules on that stuff. <laughs> I mean, again, not, not to open that can of worms, but I think... If you Americans want to talk about freedom and liberty, the most liberating thing is living and not having to think about that shit. Like, imagine going through life and not having to worry about that. Man. Oh, right, I have expl- Ha! I forgot I had explosion immunity. Nice. Wait. Have they changed this fight? I feel like there's less of an opening now to escape that. Uh, no, I'm good. 
All right, you know what? Just for good measure, let's go do uh, Santa. Not really anything that interesting going on with this run, but hey, character complete. <laughs> oh, America. You really are a different planet at this point. This is just because I want to. I don't have to do this. I'm looking at my stats, they're really not that great, now that I look at it. Upon further inspection. Yeah, I mean, you can have love for your country, but hate the people that run it or the rules around it. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, cool. Free bone heart. Give me... Wait, why don't I just do this? That'll heal it up. Then I won't lose it. This is taking longer than it should. <laughs> okay, there we go. I have bombs, let's use them. Oh, oh right, cool. <laughs> Bone Satan, you know, I never thought of it like that. All right. Oh. Uh, I mean, all right, fine. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Wait. No, 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 no. That's, it's cool. <laughs> I was like, wait, haven't I done that? I have, it's just, it's giving me the other stuff that I unlocked. Got confused for a sec. Nice. Um, but you know what, like, in terms of other travel places, I think Korea is definitely another place that I would want to check out. I've heard good things from people. 
Um, and then Southeast Asia has like a lot of uh, countries that are pretty good for food. Soul is beautiful is a must. Yeah, I've heard. I don't know. I don't know if the world's gone completely back to normal in terms of uh, COVID regulations and whatnot. But so here, um, when you've worked ten years at some place, you get given this thing called long service leave, and what it is is pretty much it's a paid holiday to commemorate the fact that you're at ten years at the company. And you can choose to take it, or you don't have to, but it's pretty much understood that, like, at the 10-year mark, people uh, are going to take time off, kind of enjoy themselves, right? So you want to take a guess when my 10-year work anniversary was? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it uh, was at a pretty inopportune time. You can walk around without a mask, but not all shops if you don't wear one. No, I don't mean, like, general living. I mean when you go to enter the country, so to speak. Um, because some countries require, or I don't know, maybe they don't anymore. But Australia, for example, uh, to enter the country, you needed to go through a quarantine period of two weeks, which kind of defeats the purpose of traveling there in the first place. Um, and then other countries require, like, a test and just... For some period here, it was easier to leave the country, but to come back was, like, a bit of a pain. But yeah, 2020, that, that's the answer, like... I was like, fuck yeah, 2020, 10 year work anniversary, I'll get time, I'll get a bunch of time off and just go somewhere. And then the world went to shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm thinking, like, pending nothing else happens next year. Wait, what? Ha huh? Wait, what happened there? How come it's on such low health already? I must have done something to, uh, cause it to just... Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'll take it. That's game. Alright. Uh, okay. Let me have a look at what I have here. So, these are the ones I've unlocked. I've got Isaac, don't have Maggie, Blue Baby, Eve. I've unlocked most of them. Uh, let me look at completion marks. All right, let's do Eve. Obviously next year there'll be a new strand. We all know. Yeah, but... I mean, at this point, you just get vaccinated and it's fine. Uh. 
I haven't really done much with Eve, so let's try and win. No. <laughs> you have so little trust in the US, you're going to get vaccinated by another country. Uh, I mean, sure. I, I got nothing to say. It's one of those things that I, I can't relate to. I'm quite literally the first I can be away. Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying to run to the door. And try and make it blow up the other one for me, but... Oh, well. That's cool. I, uh, I, I didn't do the thing that I should be doing, which is skipping. I'll start doing it from the next floor. Skipping item room, so then... I can get my chance. Okay, this is good. Sometimes I just autopilot and just play the game without thinking. Why is Eve dirty? Because E. coli. That's an item. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac. How much more powerful is the demon form? A lot more powerful. You got... Increased stats, movement speed, damage, just everything. This is pretty much the way to play her. It's not worth having red health, really. Okay, that, that's good. That'll save a bit. Remove the guesswork. Nice. But yeah, I'm probably gonna take the devil deal regardless. It depends. We'll see. Ooh, that might make it a bit trickier now. Can't catch a break with these. <laughs> what is with all these troll bombs? I feel like I've got nothing but troll bombs. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, I should grab it. Because now it, yeah, it adds padding to this. Alright, okay, good. Very good. They've nerfed this, but it's still, it's still very good. If I got a car battery or something, this is pretty overpowered. I don't know what. I swear, my neighbors are weird sometimes. They just have these moments where it's just. I don't know if they're doing construction work or something, but they just have insanely loud thumping going on. I don't know if you can hear it. I think. It's a little hard to hear. Um, I'm gonna take a gamble. <laughs> Doing the sex. Well, there has been a point in time where, yes, you can hear that. Diamonds, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna take that. Wheel of fortune. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Like, I put headphones on and it's fine, right? Interesting. Oh, oh, I see what it's doing. That's kind of neat. I don't think I've seen this room before. I am kind of wasting this a little, because I don't have more health. Ah, oh, it's an eternal heart. Shit. Okay. Um, I can... I'm pretty sure I can still use it for the purpose. Yeah. But, um, no. Okay. Let's just keep going. Trying to hope for the planetarium. There we go. Uh, this only gives you money from memory. But I guess I can exchange it to get to 99. That's nearly there. Couple more. Oh, sure. Okay. Still refusing to hand it over. worms. <laughs> they make it a little awkward here. <laughs> I 
Okay. You're back, you dropped off the kids. <laughs> Fair. Two of diamonds. Why what were you up to? That you decided, yes, I will show them. I will show them the kind of content I'm into. Interesting. Oh, come on. I risk everything to get there. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay, I don't have to worry about this. Although... That doesn't matter. What is this? Saturn's... Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is a cool one. This is the coolest thing in this game now, is these rooms. Got Chinese food and sat by the lake, went to the mall, and they mentioned they love gaming. And as you were talking, I went live. Right, gotcha. Um, this little dude, he gives devil items, so that's why. But it's unknown at what point. Like, you just have to keep gambling. Until he hands it over. Also, very useful. I might be able to get this now. How's it not handed it over? Yeah, I got a I got a dinner later, and we're going to a Malaysian restaurant, so pretty keen for that. I haven't decided what I'm gonna get. If I'm gonna get like some noodles, or they do these uh. Five spiced chicken ribs, and you have it with some, some rice. Oh man, it's good shit. Uh, change it. Damn. I got greedy. I should have taken it. Oh well. I just realized how low health I'm on. Ugh. 
You're going to get Hot Pot, but it wasn't available. Oh, damn. Hot Pot's great. Do the Saturn tears regenerate? Uh, they're your own tears, so if you shoot and it doesn't go near an enemy, it'll... It'll line them up around the ring, but it also takes away the enemy's shots. It's an anti-bullet hell item, which is pretty good. Um, but now that I've gotten this planetarium, I can go back and get the other room. Pretty much the way these planetarium rooms work is you get a 1% chance to have to get one constantly. But then if you skip an item room, uh, it increases the odds by 10%. So when you're doing the, uh, the ascent. It's a, it's a good strategy to do, because when you climb back up, you get the items back anyway. Oh, damn. Okay, I have to get rid of this health. This is gonna be sweet. Yeah, most of the planetarium rooms are... The items, they're really good. There's a couple that are average. There's one that's not good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. But it is quite handy having this uh, ring. So it can only hold six? I think so. It's pretty much a valid strategy to skip only with this, uh, this alternate ending. What I've noticed is they keep, because of the coal, they keep getting bigger and bigger. I guess because they're traveling distance constantly, so that's an interesting synergy. I didn't notice that until now. So I can make them very high damage shots. Money. Uh, let's do this just to increase the odds. Uh, there was once where I got really lucky and got two planetarium items on the 1% chance. Like, I wasn't actively trying to go for it, and yeah, I got two of them. It's pretty fun. Just walk over the stuff. Never know when there's gonna be a trapdoor. Oh, I can walk into those? No, that doesn't matter. Yeah, some of the newer items they've added are definitely interesting. Okay. 
I was hoping that would hit one, but it didn't. Oh, they sort of imploded after a while. It's good for uh, speed running because you can just run and you have all these tears that are going to hit. Maybe the hitboxes touch each other. No, maybe it's just the tier has a certain life expectancy. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, pill mimic. Nah, we're good. Yep, more options. Sure, why not? Uh, no thank you. Okay, let's not fuck around. Ooh, that's a good one. Alright, let's just pat our health out a little. Magician. Ah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure, that reminds me. I think Jojo comes back next week. I gotta make some time to watch it, like... I'm pretty sure it said... It's fall, like, start of the fall season? So if it's spring in Australia in September, that would mean... Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Assuming it's like at the start, I don't know, I'll have to check Netflix. It's set at the start of fall, so, I don't know. Ugh, a labyrinth map, okay. I've been watching Better Call Saul, I need to finish it then. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have made an effort this morning to watch more of it, but... Ah, it's fine. I don't know if this is a run winning build. Uh, that's not gonna work. Yeah.
Oh shit, right, it's not. Ugh. I keep forgetting that that thing is pick an item, not that you get both. Why waste the bomb? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Autopilot, pick one. It's not that big a deal. I need to find the card. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but at the very least I will get the character unlock. You will say this place is kind of spooky. This is not, I don't think this is the spookiest place. I think the spookiest is now the, the alternate ending with the, uh, the house. That's pretty good. Pretty fly. I need to find a way to reduce my red hearts. Where it falls apart around you. No, 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 no. The one where it's, uh... Just talking about... It just goes heavy on the, uh... What do you call it? Damn it. I forgot the word. Ev evangelism. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Like the evangelical religious stuff. How many endings have I experienced? Uh, I think all of them now. It's like... I don't know. There's eight or nine. This is gonna be a tall order. At least now I have my stats, I just need to improve my health before I get there. Okay, this is worth it. I'll just come back for it later. Well, that was another way to reduce it, but I'm good now. I mean, I suppose I can hit it a couple more times. Oh, what? Oh, no, but I can't. Ugh. I fell for it. I got swindled. Uh, okay. Shit. Ugh. Oh, but I can consume. I can consume. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Um, okay. That'll give me- that gave me stats. I'll be back. Motherfuck. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's take this. Uh. 
Really? Um... Okay, I can reduce my health again. I just want more mu- Alright, just do this, take it. This is kind of the annoying part about this character. Need to really stack the temporary health. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, but see, now I got it on kill. Okay, there's the card I was looking for. I think I might be able to get some health during the climb, we'll see. Fucking dick. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we're done here. Yeah, I'm gonna go reduce my health. It, I mean, it's, yeah, plus 3.2 damage, it's... Oh no, but that's with the crown as well. Anyway. Okay, well. <laughs> Tried to get other stuff out of it. Um, I guess since I have keys, I should do this. Trying to get whatever little advantage I can get. Rage up. Okay, good. Don't be an asshole. Alright, let's just go. I think that's all I can do for the time being. Oh, I guess I can do this. Okay, uh... Oh my god. Alright, whatever. It's not looking good. Uh, I mean, look, I'm off. I'm not really off the red health. Okay. The fool. Okay. Wish me luck. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I have to just hope. You- Oh no! Oh, that fucked me. Fuck. I didn't want red health. I need to get rid of it somehow. Ooh, uh... 
that one. Okay, uh, I can... Alright, this, this might, this might save me here. Gives me a bit of padding, so that's nice. What the hell is this? This is, uh, a new area. You'll see. You dickhead. The health up really fucked me up. Stop it! Oh my god. That's so obnoxious. It's like, uh, yeah. I don't know. There's people in gimp suits with whips. It's almost like a sex dungeon. There's a lot of BDSM themes in this area. Oh, fuck off. Okay, thank fuck. There we go. Damage is returned. I just gotta be careful now. I will take whatever funds I take from here. Oh, word? Alright, hang on. I only did this because there's health elsewhere. Okay. Now do this, and this. You knew mom was a freak? Yeah. A little bit. Shit, I might- I might be able to get, um... More items out of this. Oh, I could have just done that, it doesn't matter. Shit, I, I, yeah, I might be able to do this. Okay, take the temp health. Okay, before I climb, I just want to make sure I've done everything I can. So annoying. Okay, bear with. I'm really stretching out how much I'm getting from this. Is your stream fast forwarding or am I crazy fast? I don't know. What do you mean? Ok, 
Okay, two of diamonds. Let's... Okay, that's nice. Mm. Oh wow, that's that's huge. Take it. Uh, yeah, trash items. I'm moving very quickly. Yeah, I mean, I have maximum movement speed, so I will be moving quickly. Ah, oh, that thing! <laughs> Fuck, I hate that thing. Well, how many times is that going to get me? Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, drop it. Yep, and up we go. I'll get the character unlock at the very least. It's a little bit of copium on my part. I'm gonna try. Never know. Yeah, this part is just eerie, just hearing your parents' argument. Um, hold on, before I go up. There's a battery. Gotta be careful not to grab that heart. That'll single-handedly be my downfall. I mean, I think that counted as health. I'm not grabbing it. Okay. I think this one I have to go look for. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, those ones are fuck. Jeez. Ugh, not great. Okay. Yeah. There's an item here. Damn, that luck stat. Uh... I guess Halo of Flies, I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can get anything out of this. I gotta be careful. <laughs> Alright, that's it. No more. Oh, nice. Hey, we got flight. Damn it. Ah, oh, it snuck up on me. That's so annoying. I was trying my hardest not to get health. Fuck. Um, how do I fix this? There has to be a way to fix this. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I'm so agitated. <laughs> There's no way I can get a health down either because, uh... No devil deals? No. I don't think there's anything I can do unless I can get a card that gives, uh, what do you call it? Temperance. That works. That works, that works. Oh my god, that's so lucky. Okay. I can unfuck this. I just, I need to have... Oh, nice. Free stats. Does trip take from the top of the health? It doesn't, no. It's okay, we got the solution here. Yeah. Well, sort of. I mean, half a solution. I need half a heart container, then, then we're good. Okay, that's how I'm going to finish it, just not yet. Oh. I, I mean, I guess either way I have it, right? So let's just do this now. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Officially fixed. So lucky. Yeah, I'm- I'm not... Um... Okay, hang on, let me- I'm gonna get a charge for the nail. Or at least try to. Uh, okay. Alright, I tried. Man. <laughs> All good.
No, don't rest in- Wait, is resting on in the bed going to heal me? Fuck, I hope not. At any rate. Okay. Unlocked. Oh, look at those flies go. Damn. <laughs> Bizzlebub. I should have looked for more of them. I wish I could hear it louder what the TV is saying. I'll leave it playing for those that haven't seen it. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Plus it lets me uh, sip on my beverage.
and a white beam of light reached I'm gonna refill my water bottle, I'll be back. the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry, pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth, and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then, he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top of a hill. Okay, I've returned. Yeah, I mean, that the ending open to interpretation. Ah, oh, this music is like the eeriest thing they've added to this. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Uh, let me take a look. Who hasn't got in their unlock yet? Lilith hasn't got in it. Apollyon. The Forgotten. Bethany. Okay. Uh... Alright, let's go for Lilith this time. Yeah, I mean, I think that's- that's a way to do a story, is just- Wow, okay. I'm gonna be slightly annoyed if this doesn't give me a key. Then again, on the Ascent, I'll be able to get it. That's, uh, that's quite the start there. Oh, I'm not taking any chances here. Me and my 1% luck. Imagine I got another one. Well, I have, I think... Provided I don't enter the room, I think it still... I can get a second one. I'm not sure how it works. Oh, that's... Wow, that's... That's another big item, but I can't afford it. Oh my god, is it not gonna give me a key and it's not... <laughs> I swear! It's teasing me. <laughs> come on, come on. Give me... Give key, please. Oh my god, is it not gonna give me a key? There wasn't a key in the shop, right? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be so annoyed. It's not gonna give me a key, I, I, I can feel it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, okay, okay, wait, good. <laughs> Card in the shop, yeah, but I've only got four pennies. Or is it is it discounted card? No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. All good. Ugh, fuck. Now I need bombs. <laughs> I need a steady supply of bombs now. What does the item do? It gives extra... Oh, cool. So, it reveals one of the hidden rooms, right? And then, when you go into it, there'll be a beam of light, like here, and it'll give you plus stats. And half a health container, which, decent. Yeah, it's cool. It's not the best item, but, um, it's pretty neat. It's, yeah, it's helpful. That's the best way to put it. You get an extra hidden room, and, uh, well, I guess there's no point in skipping stuff now. Does that work on the way back up? What does? The hidden room thing? I think it does. From what I understand, the stats aren't permanent, which is a bit of a downer, but... It's good enough to make a difference. I got lucky because I got the matchstick now, so I'm gonna get bombs. I think the other thing is they they do move the rooms into pretty predictable spots, from what I've noticed. I'm not sure if maybe I'm imagining it, but... The times I've gotten this item, the, uh, the extra rooms do become a bit more predictable. What happened to the second one? It only comes out when I use the box of friendship. Okay, it wasn't here. Um, let's try here. There we go. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was convenient. Maybe? Not. Maybe? Not. <sighs> it is in my best interest to find the, all the rooms. Uh... Oh, I guess I have money. I'm gonna go to the shop. In case there's battery items.
You thought you were going crazy? Nah. Never. Uh, sure. Okay. Super secret near boss room. Uh, I mean, probably. So I would imagine it would have to be here. I don't think it, it can't be here, so it would have to be here. Wow, it's not. What? Then... On the left... What, you mean here? I bombed that left already. I bombed up, I bombed left. I think it's just in a weird spot. No? What do you mean on the left? But isn't this adjacent to... Does that work? I don't think it does. I mean, maybe I don't know. Anyway, for now I'm leaving it. I don't think it does. Maybe I should find out, because then it'd be a learning experience. Alright, fuck it. I mean, I got the matchstick anyway. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Figured as much. Um, I'm gonna check just in... Ooh. <laughs> um... But the problem is I would have to drop the box of friends. So, no. That's fine. It's no biggie. Mm. Just gonna let it cancel out. Sorry for misguiding. Nah, it's fine. I mean, I wasn't willing to die on that hill. <laughs> I was just... I figured... I could be wrong. Plus repentance, right? Like, Mr. McMuffin deciding to change things for the fuck of it. It's fine to mythbust every now and then. Plus, it was more of a suggestion, not a, no, 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 you don't know what you're doing. It's there. It's 100% there. It was more of a suggestion. Okay, I do have a chariot. But I can't get across that gap. Oh, yes, I can. Like this. Think it through. Okay. Perfect. Wait, why isn't it activated? It should be activated. I thought it activates on one heart. Or is it manual activation the first time? It might be. It's okay. The option is there. Uh... What? I get the feeling it's here. Yeah. That's weird.
It could be that I need to take damage to activate it. It's a little strange. Half a heart? Huh. But on the previous run, I had one heart. And I had red crown and it activated. Alright, did, did I imagine it? I don't know. Yeah, sure would be nice to, uh... Oh, there we go. Unfortunately, I need a second one. I'm gonna gamble. Okay, that's- that's fine. Uh, I'll go for the card. Let's see what the card brings. Joker! Alright, cool. When I only have half a red heart remaining or less, you enter a curse. Huh. Maybe? No, I don't know. I- I believe it. When playing as Eve, this item activates with one full heart. Ah, that's that's the te that's the detail there. I was playing as Eve. That makes sense. Also, it's fine if I don't get this because I'm doing the ascent, so we're good. It's not the end of the world. See, that's a detail I don't know. But good to know I wasn't going crazy. Get rid of the red health. I'll try. Um, does that? Yeah, that'll that'll hang on. That'll get me something. I can get a few things with this. Pretty fly. Puberty. Oh. That is, uh, quite useful. Because then I can get the... Although it'll make the box of friends like a higher cooldown, but I think the benefits of this could be huge. Oh right, I forgot about that thing. Take it. I, I would have consumed it, but I. Oh shit. Okay. There's still another chest here, right? Ah, but it's behind the key. There was a battery. I could have consumed it. Okay. I think this is the right call. Because then I still get the benefits of it. And I can, uh... Get rid of any items that I don't like.
how the blocks activate when I use the void. Like, if I use it now, it'll activate. See? It just becomes a six-use item. But it provides me utility, so I can also absorb if I want. And if I get any other use item on it, hey, it'll be pretty good. Like a, any other, if I got a library, that's the dream. Any other books would be great. Like, yeah, there's a cost increase associated with it, but I can make uh, it pretty beneficial. This room sucks with those <laughs> worms. I guess the only thing now is I wouldn't be using it in a boss room as much, but... Whatever, it's fine. Oh, this is annoying. Uh... I feel like... No, I should do this. There we go. This is too obnoxious, like, I have more to lose by not doing it. Fuck's sake. Oh my god. Oh, we got a friend now. No, I'm just gonna do it. Ugh, I know, I know, but... I just don't want to lose more health over something so minor. It's not going well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, a duality. Um, I'm gonna take it. Uh, can't really. The book would have been really good, but no. If I lost all my health. Oh, fuck. I didn't- ah, I didn't see the spike. Oh, well. <laughs> the overlay had just come off and I couldn't see it. Yeah, I mean... As good a start as that was, just... I wish I would have gotten another planetarium item, but it is what it is. Got speed down. Yeah, that was my own fault. I need to be more careful. Um, skipping treasure rooms. It's okay. The one thing I don't like about Lilith sometimes it's just hard to aim.
Okay. Would Isaac translate well into 3D? Depends on the designer. Uh, maybe. It could. It's a very, uh, fine balance. There's been games that have, uh, translated really well, like Risk of Rain. That's, uh, one of the key examples I can think of. Although, admittedly, some of the items that they moved over from 1 to 2 just don't work as well. Because when they're in a 3D space, they're just not as good. I know that, um, there has been talk of a Isaac sequel. I'm just not sure how far that would be. It might not necessarily be the same uh, game style either. Like, Legend of Bumbo is supposedly a prequel. But that's that's a puzzler. That's a completely different genre. Mario 64? Yeah. Mario definitely translated well. I'm just talking about roguelikes in general. Uh, huh. Well, the one to get would be this one, right? Because then that lets me get all, all of them. So, Satanic Bible... That's different now, right? Like, it... It gives you a devil deal, so to speak. Which I don't, I'm not sure I want, so let's just leave it. I picked it up, I put it down. Then again, I, I don't know, maybe it's not the worst thing. Because it, it, you can keep generating health, the issue is just items cost hearts later. Which, I'm not... 100% convinced. I feel like that change is more of an- is a big nerf to it. Or maybe- maybe not necessarily a nerf, but more just... I'm less inclined to use it now. If you want an example of, uh, how Isaac could look like in 3D, there's a game called Slash's Keep, I think it's called. That's got similar vibes to it. I don't know. I think the game would lose a bit of its charm if it goes to 3D. I think we're well past the era where, like, 3D means upgrade. <laughs> that used to be the, the case for the longest amount of time, where everything had to be 3D. Um, I suppose I don't... Yeah, let's just keep going. Or, like, 2D was only seen as an indie thing. Thanks for the recommendation. Looks sick. 
Yeah, it's see, I I played with it a bit uh early on. It was fun. I haven't gone back to it, but I had fun playing it. Sonic came around the first time, and yikes! Ugh. Yeah, Sonic. I don't want to talk about it because if you enjoy the Sonic games, the 3D ones, then oh fuck, that sucks. I, I'm not grabbing that. That's the worst one in my opinion. I almost feel like restarting the run. <laughs> Um, I mean, I played one of the 3D Sonic games, Sonic Heroes, and it was alright, I enjoyed it. But I know that it's not like Mario that has had consistency in terms of, like, it's very hard to find a 3D Mario game that you'll say is objectively bad, like. Whereas in with Sonic, it's not the case, like, I think even... The biggest Sonic fan will ad will admit that there are some 3D games that are far from ideal. Let's just say. The combat would be different, but verticality makes things fun, right? Yeah, I guess. It's definitely doable. It's just whether or not they would uh bother. I don't know, his next game is that, uh... What the fuck is it called? Mu Mugenics? It's like, it looks like it's cat breeding simulator with turn-based combat, so it seems interesting. Oh, like the 3D roguelike, um, Returnal? I played it. It's- it's alright. Oh, whoops. He's doing that for like 10 years. Yeah, he did start and stop though. I think at one point they gave up on it, but then they came back to it. I don't know. The last one he made that I tried out, um, before- ugh, damn it, I'm resetting. I forgot. Hang on. Before Bumbo was, uh, damn it, what was it called? See, I'm really bad with names. Um, something is nigh. The end is nigh. I thought that was gonna be... Better. I don't know. It was- it was okay. I, gu I guess I just didn't find it as fun as, like, Super Meat Boy. It was its own thing. I don't know what it was about it, but there was just something that just didn't feel right with the platforming. It, I don't know. It didn't feel as fluid to me. There were some mechanics in it that felt a bit forced. It was trying to go for something creative, right? Like, add a little, a little twist, but... I guess I just didn't enjoy that t that uh that mechanic, so to speak. You beat the shit out of Meat Boy. I really like that game. I love that game too. I never fully completed it because fuck the Cotton Alley. <laughs> but I think I beat the stages, but some of the stuff is just it's too difficult, dude. It's doing hitless runs, nah. I got as far as I could with that. I, I remember getting blisters playing that game. Jeez, that- oh fuck, that- how long ago was that? 
Oh my god, I did it again. All right. I'm, I'm focusing. <laughs> Do not go in the treasure rooms. 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 Okay. I think I, I drilled it in. Was the mechanic sticking to walls or something in the end there's nigh? Yeah, kind of. I found some of the jumping awkward. That's the thing, I don't really remember much from it. I just remember that I played it for a bit and then I was kind of like, eh. Maybe I'll revisit it at some point, but I got other stuff I want to check out. I do want to go back to the, well, go to the original Splunky, because I've only played Splunky 2. <sighs> Dude. Okay, if I go if I go into the treasure room this time, I have to there has to be a punishment. I will there will be a punishment. I will throw out a gift sub if if I go into a treasure room. Before I get planetarium. Um, I'm auto- I hate it. I- there's some things that I do in this game that I just autopilot on. Um... That's one of them. Oh, this is- this is not bad if I can get it. The other one is... Cause, I mean, before this patch, I would always do the Polaroid. So whenever it came time to have to do the negative, I'll take the negative, but then go up and ascend, because force of habit, right? This is not a strong start, anyway. Ah, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't go into the treasure room. I gotta watch the time as well. I do gotta go out soon. Aha. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, it's on a floor where it doesn't matter. It's done. Uh, damn it. That's still, I think that's still positive. Don't go in the treasure room. Don't go in the treasure room.
need more familiars, yeah. I mean, just by taking damage, I'll spawn more of them. Brimstone, baby. Uh, I like the the ice baby now more than anyone. That thing is pretty ridiculous. Because then you just... You freeze stuff and you shoot it along and it can freeze more things. You can get a pretty good chain reaction going. Can be mighty handy to be able to instantly freeze things. <laughs> Man, it's so hard to defend yourself from flies sometimes with this. Because your minion's never directly on top of you. Unless you get the, uh, the sticky tape and then you position yourself on top. Game, please. <laughs> okay, no planetarium this floor. I gotta check. Wait. Oh, it's Curse of the Blind. Never mind. Don't do it. <sighs> I'm not about to do that on a whim. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I want manifestation of the, uh, the planetarium. I mean, may as well, right? There was nine lives plus Guppy. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. If only you had said it sooner, I would have gone for it. Why didn't you say it sooner?
In that other round, did that hidden room that I missed on the left have Guppy as well? Okay. There was blood on the floor. Could not see it. Really? Thought for sure it would be there, and that thing would die as a result. Essentially all closed rooms contain Guppy. Well, damn. Yes, it can. Ah. They have some kind of knockback. <laughs> Schrodinger's guppy. But I mean, isn't guppy a dead cat? So it wouldn't be. It'd be half of Schrodinger's guppy. Because the cat is always dead in the case of guppy. Schrodinger is, is the cat is both dead and alive until you confirm it, right? Don't go in the treasure room. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep that up though. This is getting a little dire. Fuck. Nah. No. It's okay, I know the risk I'm taking by doing that. Okay. Off to retire for the night. Alright, Sandy, see you later. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks for popping in. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's only 12. I thought it was way later. I'll do a few more. I just want to unlock this character. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If I don't get a planetarium and die this time, I'll just I'll just do a normal run. It's not like that means instant win. It just it can mean it makes your life easier. Who am I trying to unlock? Uh Eve not Eve fucking This one's this one's extra character. Lilith. Tainted Lilith, fucking hell. What is wrong with me? I've just been doing that, pretty much going around the board and just uh, unlocking them. And trying to get that completion mark. It's not as difficult to do as I thought it was. I'm getting more used to that fight now. 
Nice. Good, 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 good. I'll have to decide what what roguelike uh, replaces this one when I eventually finish it. The one needs to beat the TV boss. Uh, you need to get up to it and have an item on you. Uh, in particular, and then you find a hidden room that has the character in it. You don't need to beat the boss. But yes, it's the TV boss route. Dogma. Red key or the cracked key. Which is, uh, yeah, it's an uh, it's a fragment of the red key. Oh, this is annoying. It's pretty... Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I was about to walk in <laughs> to the treasure room. I stopped myself. The game has changed so much from the first, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, the game is 10 years old, more than 10 years old now, right? <laughs> that should make the odds pretty good on the next floor to get it. I don't know, I believe crawl space. Okay. Going for a full clear. Sure. Wait, I haven't found the normal one, really? Okay, there it is. I mean, I don't know if they're going to continue updating it. This is supposedly the last content pack, so we'll see. Oh, it's the uh, VIP pass, right? This can be useful. Assuming I get the money. That's... All right, let's just do it. It's a nice way to get items as well. I forgot that it opens right away. Soul of Eden. Yeah, okay. I mean, you never know what's going to be in the store, so it's worth it.
Okay. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be harder to land. I have to get lucky. Nice! Uh, okay, this is worth checking out because I will have health. Ooh, okay. Bear with. Right, what roguelikes will I be looking into after Isaac? Um, I mean, I have a few. I did start Rogue Legacy 2, but I didn't, um... That's Curse of the Blind. I didn't go too far into it. Like, I'll probably play a bit more of that. Um... There is Splunky 1. I never really fully completed Hades either. I should probably do that. Hades was great. The thing is, games like Isaac has made me very, uh, particular about roguelikes. Like, I don't play every single one, it's just, they have to be of that quality. Yeah, I need to do this, otherwise it's gonna get too annoying. Really? I don't know. Whatever I feel amongst all the other stuff I play, because it's not just one thing. I'll mix it up. One thing I have been meaning to do is try to do more retro games. I have the means to play retro games in really good quality, but I just haven't really done it that much. Have I tried Vampire Survivors? I haven't, but I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a lot of uh, different ways to play retro games. I have those fancy consoles that let you play old games at a HD resolution. And good audio. Oh, this is so annoying. Ooh. Wish I could have reached that, but I can't. And towards the end of the year, I'm getting one of those uh, analog pocket things. So then it'll allow handhelds. Who is the producer of the console? Analog. They're a company that make a... Uh... They make hardware that... It's like hardware emulation, FPGA, I think they call it. So the consoles, they're pretty much as good as an original device. It's just they uh, render stuff at, at full HD or thereabouts. They're very good. Yeah, like, I've been playing a ROM hack called Janked Up Mario Party, which is, like, uh, Super Mario World ROM hack. It's pretty good. And I've been using that for it. But, I mean, I have their NES console, I have their, uh, Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis, whatever you want to call it, depending on what you're used to. Which also plays Master System. And then I also have, uh, one of those upscaler devices from Japan, so... 
the consoles that don't have that, I can just use an upscaler to achieve something close. And once I got that portable, then yeah. Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, all that stuff. Will be rendered pretty well. I guess I'll just need to figure out, like, the kind of games people are into. Or would like to see me play. <laughs> I need to get off my ass and organize content. Well, I don't know- I don't know what that is. That's the problem. I guess I'll get the cheapy. Fuck. Uh, is that gonna help? <laughs> you would watch Modded Risk of Rain 2. I played a bit of Modded Risk of Rain 2 off stream with uh, a friend of mine. The thing with the mods I found, they were. They kind of leaned on the side of, I, I don't know, a little too overpowered. Or not completely fleshed out. But I mean, I, I would only do uh, mods for like a couple streams and then leave it be. It's not something I would do on a regular basis. It would be like a one or two stream thing. I don't know, I, I believe in moving on from games and not trying to stretch the content out too much. If I was just a Risk of Rain streamer, that's something I would definitely do, but that's not the case. There's a mod for difficulty. The mod destroyed in one hit. Nah. But see that, I'm good. There's no, there's no carrot with that one, so to speak. It's just, oh, do you enjoy suffering? Then, or no, better yet, the kind of stream where it's, you just pick stuff that the uh, stream is going to suffer with. Uh, do it. Okay. It's flexible as well. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not, it's just not really my thing. Oh shit. Okay, that that helped, but not really. Shit. Of all the bosses to get. It had to be that one. That one's really annoying, especially since, like, yeah, <laughs> lining up shots is harder here. And I didn't really have, uh, yeah. Nah, I mean, I'm happy with what I did with Risk of Rain. I'll definitely go back to it. It's not like that's... That's it, right? There will be more updates to the game. There'll be more content. I just don't want to burn out on it or force it, because... It would be apparent when I'm not really having a good time playing a game, and I'm just not about that. I got other stuff I want to enjoy anyway in the meantime. Oh, 
Like, I got a literal box of games at my feet that I just need to somehow get through. Do you really like the Metopia stream? Oh, Metopia was fun. I wish it was a bit longer. One of the, I think, like, off the top of my head, some of the games that I do want to check out. Um, I got Horizon, both the Horizon games kind of sitting here that I never checked out. Elden Ring came out when Zero Dawn came, not, what is it, uh, not Zero Dawn, the other one, the new one. And then when the first one came out, there was some other game that was big and kind of overshadowed it. Um, on the note of Stranger Streams, I do want to do another, uh, because I did a night where I checked out games from my childhood, like PC games, and I had a couple, uh, strange ones. Like the CD that McDonald's Australia distributed in the 1990s of Happy Meals. Um, that was one of those just point-and-click interactive experiences, and it was pretty wild. And then I learned that there was a, a second one, so I played through that as well. That was pretty fun. Have I finished that Portal spin-off with time manipulation? Oh, the mod thing? Uh, Portal Reloaded? I did. That was, uh, yeah, that was a brain buster, but I got through it. So I'll probably do another one of those nights, but this time I'll check out, um, not stuff from my childhood, but generally, like, 90s vaporware, I guess. There's an American equivalent of the McDonald's CD. There's one that teaches nutrition from a corporation. Like a giant supermarket chain, so that should be funny. And there was, uh, a Pokemon trading card game marketing CD. It sort of, it teaches you what Pokemon cards are. I think it was aimed at parents, but it would let kids play, um, a virtual, virtual way. This is still the same run? No, no, I just haven't had much luck here. The issue here is I kind of hit a point where it's hurting me not to take items. I'll try one more time here, and if I fail, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna pick up items, I think. Um... Yeah, there's a bunch of 90s... stuff. That would be worth checking out. I wish I, I had more time. <laughs> it would be great if I could stream and then not have to worry about money, huh? Or a job, but... That's just the reality. Or, better yet, if, uh... The concept of polyphasic sleep didn't fuck you up. In the long run.
Oh, no, no recharge. There's another game like Metopia that's on DS, um, but I haven't really thought of securing a copy of it. Because I, I question if it's going to be any good, because I think it requires... For it to be good, it requires uh, stuff from the internet service, which I'm not sure still exists anymore. But it was called Tomodachi Life, and pretty much it's just you have a bunch of me's and they're just living life. Oh my god. So, of course, people got creative with them and made characters. Ugh, this movement speed. Okay, well, if nothing else, that's fine. Lilith doesn't seem very fun at all. No, she's fun, it's just I'm not picking up items. That's the thing, like, I'm trying to force this planetarium thing, and it's probably doing more harm than good. She can be pretty overpowered if you get battery items. You, you actually tried remembering Mutopia, but the Tomodachi name, fist bump in your head. <laughs> That's fair. I've heard good things about it. I would like to check it out, but I think it's, uh, that ship has probably sailed. Just because, yeah, I, I would imagine all, all the online systems for it don't work anymore. I would have to get creative and make them myself, which I could, right? Like, I could be like, all right, let's take a survey of characters that would be interesting to add to this. And I would try to, using the me editor, I could maybe make my own. Which, you know what? That would be a good creative challenge, but a lot of time investment. The whole thing with how familiars work doesn't seem pleasant. Yeah, I mean, it, it can be jank, for sure. But I mean, the, your familiar, this one, gets your tear effects, so... Oh, ugh, I hate that when that happens. I think if at this point I don't have it, I should probably stop pursuing it. But yeah, if I fail this run, I'll, I'll just do a normal one. I'll get items. In my mind, I was like, yeah, two familiars should be straightforward. You shouldn't need damage up. But I think you do. The risk I took.
Ja, auch. Stop shooting. <lacht> Need a dodge. Ah, welcome chat member who wants to be a cow. <laughs> um, I'm trying to unlock Lilith's tainted character, more or less. It's not going well because I'm trying to force the planetarium thing, but I should probably stop doing that. Did your sub go through? It should have. Usually you have to press a button that confirms it. And it'll say, announce it in chat. But yeah, thank you for the sub. <laughs> okay, I don't mind Little Dumpy. Little Dumpy can be good. I just went and got the item, fuck it, honestly. You did the announce in chat thing. Maybe refresh the stream and... See if it happens again. Or it could be delayed, I don't know. I think I was causing myself more harm than good by doing this, so let's just get a little dump. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it must have been just a delay, but appreciate it a lot, dude. Yeah, it's just item rooms. I was trying, but it's starting to get to the point where it's a little bit hindering. I did skip the first two, so if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I just skipped two, so... Hopefully that will be enough. Okay, let me go through the cursed door. Do I still have the 21% chance to get it since I skipped the first two? I think so. I don't think it's in a row. I'm not quite sure how the system works. Every skip has 20%, so I have 40. Okay. Then that's good enough for me. It's 10, it's not 10%. I thought it was 10%. I don't know. I did say I'm not sure. Like, just a few seconds ago, I admitted to not knowing. Probably see it eventually. 40% is a good threshold. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. As long as it's not the Mars item. Ugh, I hate that item. I think that item would be better off if they converted it to a use item that just recharges. Because then you have fine control over it and it doesn't affect your dodging. Oh no, it's as bad as you think. Like, it's just... 
It's very easy to double tap and defeats the purpose of the D-pad. Just do fine movements. There's a mod that lets you change it for a specific key on PC. That would be useful. I mean, it's, it's good for certain dodges. It's just uh, terrible in terms of usability in some cases. Hey, I got a little brimstone. Yeah, little dumpy's great. All that's missing is the uh the fly. Most of the familiars, I feel like they're a lot better than they used to be. Thank you, little dumpy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Well, uh, I feel like I should probably go back to the start. I just get this feeling like I may have missed it. Uh. I try for it. Plus, I might be able to summon another one. Alright, I'll bite. I'm in no rush to finish anyway. Oh, don't you dare. <sighs> okay, whatever. I mean, it, it's useful. This means flies won't be as annoying. Okay. Am I just not gonna get it? Oh, I can go into the challenge room too. Okay, let's do it. That's good. 
Makes up for the, a little bit of the lack of damage I have right now. Cool. I need to fix this movement speed. I think right now that's my worst start. Oh boy. little brimstone go yep uh sure physics <laughs> good enough well didn't happen this floor Go, a little dumpy. <laughs> so good. Okay. Nah, I'm good. I'm not really in a in a great position here. <laughs> Sad bombs. All right, cool. <laughs> Manifest, please. <laughs> Got a max of four familiars with her. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting there. I should be close to getting the second one. I mean, Lilith has her issues, but when she's fun, she's fun.
once again, little Dumpy proving his worth. I haven't seen Tainted Lilith yet, but I'm sure... I'm sure it'll be fun. <laughs> I'm not touching any of the Tainted characters until the base ones are done. That's how I'm approaching this. I have all this money and it just hasn't eventuated into anything. Some of them are fun, some of them are hard, some of them make annoying changes to the playstyle. That makes sense. I think aiming is a bit of a nightmare with Lilith, that's all. Have I put my hands on Jacob and Esau? Uh, not by choice. On the daily, yes. They have popped up a couple times and... I'm leaving that character to last. It's pretty much playing a character that Isaac's heart is an item. <laughs> Only it shoots. Which I don't I don't personally find it enjoyable. But there are in, I can see how it can be interesting combinations. Just not my style. And it's a little clunky to play. On control, that must be awful. Uh, it takes some getting used to. Now I'm just going to hang back and spam. Yeah, this isn't the greatest room. But it's not the king of obnoxious rooms. I don't know. I don't think this is going anywhere. It's just... Hasn't rewarded me with a planetarium or anything, so I don't really have health. I had money, but never got in a shop. Oh, okay, that's surprising. It's, it's not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Bit of a struggle. Okay, thank you. And I haven't been able to get angel rooms either, so it's just been... Oh, good. Yeah, I have sad bombs, which I should probably be using a bit more. Okay, 
There we go. Uh, I mean... I feel like I should not risk this and just go. Yeah, I mean, I got something, so... I'm just having my doubts that this is gonna resort in anything. Or result in anything, not resort. I don't have a trinket either. Which I do need to get one. Okay, nice. Really? Okay. I suppose what I could do here, it's a bit ballsy. Well, let's just see. Okay. It is an option. Don't touch that yet. I got a leech, so... I'll do it just because more stats. This isn't too bad. Yeah, leech is good. I mean, it has its uses, like it's gonna get me little bits of heals so then I can keep throwing at the blood bank. Like it's negated the risk in this room completely. So, that's not bad. Okay, now we do this. I mean, this has already been a pretty profitable room. Okay. There's the thing. I still don't have an ex trinket thingy. I'm gonna have to try and fix that. Okay, there we go. Finally. I don't think I've gotten this one before. Plus, you feel elusive? What does that mean? I think this is a new one for me. Doors stay open. Oh! Interesting. I mean, I guess that's nice and speed run. All right, there we go. Got our little thing. That's also very good. When I ask out loud, can you spoil it? Use your judgment. Sometimes it's just uh, feeling me filling the dead air. 
right? Because that's what streamers have to do sometimes, is just, they'll think out loud. But in, the, in that circumstance, genuinely curious. And I already picked up the item, so... Sometimes I'll be like, don't answer. <laughs> Just very quickly. Okay, that's decent. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's dump some money in. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better about this now. Alright, good stuff. Definitely less concerning now. So what's the point in putting money in that? You unlock items, um, and it gives you a stockpile of money that you can take out. So you bomb the donation bin, and then you can take money out. Um, aside from that, when you hit a thousand, you do get something for it, so... We still have one more shop, so I'm gonna go throw myself at that thing again. Yeah, I mean... It's alright. Oh. That's interesting. Experimental pill. It's okay, my tears are at max anyway. Get the heart. Yeah, suddenly I don't feel so bad anymore. Oh, right, doors remain open. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping for a battery item. Any battery item will do. Why am I just doing that? Unfortunately, the meat boy doesn't really do much. The fool. Okay. Um. Let me go get the full card. Because there's another one. It, it doesn't double, it plus one's familiar. So it's familiar, whatever familiar you have, plus one. So that's her play style, is she just ends up with a lot of familiars. Any battery, anything that restores charge to the box is, is really good. You just end up with a conga line of familiars. She's not a- she, I wouldn't say she's OP, like... I think this is one of these characters that- it has a really unique playstyle and it's pretty balanced. You can get really bad runs and you can get runs with her where she's really good. Jeez. 
she's, uh, yeah, pretty well balanced, I'd say. I'm just trying to get my charges back. Uh, sure. I know I can run past stuff. Like, I can just... Oh, haha. -ha. Very funny. Oh. That's kind of nice. Um... I'm just thinking... I'm just thinking... You can see the blind item when you go up. Oh, really? Okay, then let's wait. Why not use the item? Does, doesn't the red button mean you don't get a reward? That's how I interpreted it. Drop the card. There we go. Fuck's sake. Just insta room clear? Okay, then I don't know the answer to that. I guess because the one time I pushed it, it didn't give me a reward. Or a couple times, I don't know. I came to that conclusion. Fuck, I hate those things. Uh, yep. There you go. They work pretty well together. Diamonds. Yeah, I mean, I can just run past everything. This is pretty nice. Uh, I forget which ones that... I think it was just the first two. I'll just check just for good measure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is pretty nice. You need to repent. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. You are insane. You are taking this too far. You're a new sound. Okay, I know these two for a fact that I did not get. Oh yeah, right. Don't need to clear the room. Just run through it. There we go.
Wait, right, where am I missing? Oh. No, there's something missing. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Corner. I mean, you never know. There could be something good in here. Um, cool. Another baby. Uh, still a couple. Wow, you asshole. More than a couple. <laughs> Also remember to touch Dumpy. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Yeah, it was like eight, but whatever. It doesn't matter too much. I do need to get one back. Try try get keys back. Monstrous too. Eh. Yeah. Skipping those items was not <laughs> a big loss. Ah, oh, you... Man. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for the map reveal. I'll do this because I, I want one more key. on. How have you not given me a single key? There we go. Alright, now we move on. Now I can just run. It's just in case this, this happens to be good, which... It was not. Okay. Well, nothing else. Oh, she looks... Oh. Okay. This is unlucky. I didn't want to use the box of friends, but I might have to. Really? Okay. 
Okay, use sad bombs. Oh, that was close. I'm pot shotting it. I might have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. This is too annoying otherwise. I'll do one. Ugh, not great. All right. Sucks that the leech is full with gravity. Thank you, little dumpy. Oh, yeah, right, and the meat boy. Ugh. That is mildly irritating. Okay. Pick up the dumpy. First hit. I think the little dumpy's in the corner, I gotta go get him. Got him. A little oh, whatever that was. Ah, oh, damn it, didn't get it in time. Oh god, it's so hard to see.
All right, I'm Clench. The sky above cracked, Just. And a white beam of light reached down into the earth. Ugh. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Thanks to the GG and for the 100 bits. Alright, I think that's a good stopping point. I do need to go now. I need to go do some stuff. Um, and then I got a dinner later, but I don't know. I gotta do some errands at the moment. So who's remaining? Lazarus. Blue Baby. Maggie. Okay, I mean, getting there. Alright, um, yeah, we'll see how I am, uh, for later. Since I have a dinner, I'm not sure what time I'll be back for the evening stream, uh, so, yeah. I'll try, but otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll see what we get up to this week. I'll continue this as usual next time. <laughs>